Hello YouTube, <clears throat> it is I, Bandit Wendy. On Sunday, the 3rd of April, 2011, how are you? Uh, I have to make some videos. I have stuff to say and answer some questions. And this video specifically is about loose skin. Hmm. Yes. Weight loss surgery, regardless of what kind of weight loss surgery you have, you're probably going to have some excess skin. Right. I'm very fortunate, I guess, um, because I have a limited amount of excess skin. Let's talk, right? Lap band, uh, two years post-op, uh, going on 106 weeks post-op. And I lost anywhere between 99, my goal was to lose 99 pounds. And I've lost, it fluctuates between 103 to 99, 99 to 103 pounds, just depends on the day. And I am 5'10", right, so I'm a pretty tall girl. I started out at 244.6 pounds. So today I think I'm 145 or 146, somewhere in there. Um, and I started running. I started the Couch to 5K program at week 15, right? I guess I should back up for a second. My husband, at the time my boyfriend, when I met him, I learned about weight loss surgery. He had gastric bypass, R&Y, almost nine years ago. He's also tall, 6'8", um, and he weighed close to 500 pounds. I believe it was 487. The day we got married, 10, 10, 10, he weighed 233 pounds. Um, so you can do the math. He lost over 250 pounds, right? And I learned from him that weight loss surgery uh, causes excess skin, right? I love him just the way he is. Um, when you love somebody, it uh, doesn't matter, really. Uh, about the rest of excess skin. Um, I think the whole issue with excess, excess skin is for the individual who has it, right? You have to learn to deal with it. Live with it or get rid of it, right? So with that said, I knew as a weight loss surgery rule that I needed to exercise. And I did. I have been every damn day. <laughs> uh, at week 15, I started the Couch to 5K program because a fellow YouTuber mentioned it and I was not doing enough exercise. I was not getting 210 minutes a week, which is a lap band weight loss surgery rule to success. So I started it and it's a nine week program. I've talked about it a billion times and uh, 27 workouts in nine weeks and you go from being a couch potato to being able to run a 5k race. Soon after that program ended, I uh, ran my first 5k. October 22nd, I think it was, or October 9th. October 9th or October 10th, I can't remember, 2009. And uh, pretty much after that, I think I ran 38 minutes and some change, my first 5k. And pretty much after that, I started running every day, uh, five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven, just 5Ks. I've ran a billion 5Ks on the treadmill and close to a billion on the, <laughs> on the pavement. Um, and that's what got me started. And I attribute my couch to 5K and my running to the limited amount of excess skin that I have. Uh, in about October of 2010, nine, uh, I started doing strength training at the gym by myself, no trainer, using the machines, uh, two times, three times a week. Uh, wasn't very consistent with it from October, 2009 until December, 2010, I did it about seven months total, right? Um, and I did eventually move from using the free weights or the, the machines to the free weights. 
I got married on, on 10, 10, 10. And I had a really awesome gown, and part of being a bride for me was having some bride biceps. So that was great motivation. Um, from July to October, I was really solid, three days a week, doing a free weight workout. And um, I did upper body and lower body. Um, and then in 30 days ago, in March, I started the P90X program. Google it. Um, it is a muscle, muscle confusion program. I do here at home via DVDs. And it is uh, strength training, yoga, cardio, stretching, plyometrics, intense. I've made videos about it. Um, so, no, I haven't used any lotions or creams. Um, I did it the old-fashioned way, working out. Um, running. I, run, I ran 20 miles in the last day, 24-hour period. I ran 20 miles. <laughs> I started training for half marathons. I wanted to add that in. So I went from running anywhere from uh, 3.11 miles to 10 miles. Um, and now today I ran 14. 14.1. So, and yesterday I did my first 10K race. 6.22, 61 minutes. So anyway, um, the other thing, hold right here. Hold, hold, hold. I've talked about this a billion times on my channel. Hey, Penny, please! Sorry. I've talked about this a billion times on my channel. Body effects. Bobo's mama, Renee, mwah. Hey, Penny, please! Seriously. Thank you. Um, Renee, Bobo's mama, taught me about this over a year ago probably close to a year and a half ago, pretty much when I started the Couch to 5K program, I think. And I take this every time I work out. I do not follow the instructions. It says take one in the morning, one at night. I don't do that. Make you wired, feel like you're on crack cocaine. Um, I hold, it's, it's not cheap. This costs you 70 bucks. Powerperformanceproducts.com Powerperformanceproducts.com Okay? Go to their website. They have all different flavors. This is citrus cherry. I'm a fan. And it does what it says it'll do. Fat burning, energy boosting, appetite suppressing, and mood enhancing. Fat burning, less excess skin, I don't know. Right? Here's the other thing. I lost 99 pounds. Right? I did it in like 63 weeks or something. I did not move at the speed of light to lose 99 pounds. Again, you can do the math. It was like 1.47 pounds on average per week. Right? Average. Here's the thing about excess skin, I believe. Number one, your age plays a factor. Number two, how large are you? Right? Your height and your weight. How long have you been that big? Right? Have you had children? How many children? Um, and how fast do you lose your weight? There's a tendency for R and Y people to lose weight a lot faster than a lap bander. Different surgeries, right? Um, VSG too, to a certain degree, they lose weight. I've seen them lose weight a lot faster than a lap bander. So all those pieces of the puzzle will determine how much excess skin you have, right? So you can go back and you can watch, I've done a Dare to Bear video on December 31st, 2009. Um, I did, about a month ago, I did a P90X video in a pink bikini. And I'll be posting one later on this week. So you can see my excess skin, right? Thanks to all who comment that I have very little. Um, for those of you who say, well, do you have excess skin? Here's your video, right? And in this video, I'm telling you what I've done, 
and I'm telling you where you can go see the pictures, and I'm telling you that you can do it too, right? So I'm going to try to give you, because we're here, and for those that don't know how to click on the video, you'll see the old ones. This is my excess skin, right? There you have it. And it's there, you know, but it's pretty toned, and I'm getting some. This is all muscle, right? Muscle. Um, my arms, this is my jiggle, right? See that jiggle? Jiggle. And I don't have any excess skin on my thighs whatsoever. So, um, all I can tell you is that if you don't want excess skin, then the moment you can, start taking body effects, start exercising, even when you hate it exercise. It's going to reshape your body and eliminate your excess skin. And stop saying the word only, I've only lost 10 pounds. I've only lost 40 pounds. Be thankful for slow loss, right? Be thankful you have a lap band and it's going to be hard to lose your weight. Um, because the slower you lose that weight, I would say the less likely you are to have excess skin. But again, all those other factors go into play, right? Your age, your weight, how long you've been obese, uh, or how long you were obese, um, if you've had children or not, how many children you have had, if you've had them, um, if you're hitting the 210 minutes of exercise a week, and what kind of exercise are you doing. And I'm talking hardcore exercise. Sweat dripping down your face. Your bra stinks because you sweat so much in it. So anyway, uh, I hope I've answered the questions. I hope you go back and watch the other videos. Uh, you know, the other thing I want to say is, you can get plastic surgery. Everybody in my class, right, the two-year postdoc class, has pretty much had plastic surgery, reconstructed surgery, or is planning to do so, right? And that's cool. All the power to you. Um, that's not what I want to do, right? Uh, I'm still paying for my lap band. And we've got two weight loss surgery people in this house, and um, I'm next in line, right? Uh, my husband has lived for almost nine years with his excess skin. And if anybody's going to have reconstructive surgery in our family, it would be him. Uh, and he so desires it, but it has not lived his life by it, and it hasn't controlled his life, and it wasn't the only thing he's ever dreamed of doing for himself. Um, so he's proved to me that if you love who you are as a person, uh, the skin is just skin, you know? But I understand the desire of others to want to get it taken care of, and I applaud that. I think you got to be the best you any way you want to be there. You know, however you want to get there, do it. Um, I don't think negatively of reconstructive surgery. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, my surgeon says I should have children first before I get rid of this nice pocket that's not going to go away on my stomach. Um, and, you know, there's a very good likelihood that I will do that eventually. Um, so, anyway, I hope this video helps you all. And uh, if you're watching and you're getting something out of it, I hope you're making a video back to the community about your journey so that others can take from you too, you know? It's a very, very important thing. All right, have a good night and move your body. Take body effects, follow the weight loss surgery rules, learn to love your body as it is, and you'll, you'll be just fine. All right.